Hello, my name is Y Lam, and today we're going to be looking at Lumineer's new uh, diversity receiver. So this one specifically for 5.8 gigahertz, and like it says on the box, uh, there's two receivers in here, and it will switch to the one that has the best video signal. So we'll go ahead and open it up and take a look. So before we actually look at this diversity receiver, I just want to very quickly uh, talk to you about uh, the original one, which is uh, basically the same thing, except this is uh, just a single receiver. So it's not diversity. And the reason why we never did a review on this one was uh, there really wasn't anything interesting or anything that uh, was very exciting about this one, so we never did it. But when they came out with the diversity receiver one, there's a bunch of cool features that I find really interesting, and uh, we'll point them out as we move along. So you open it up. They have a fancy new way of uh, opening it up with magnets. Probably too special just for a box. Uh, inside here is your diversity receiver. So in here, they protected the uh, two SMA antenna connectors with the uh, red caps. And then you have two white buttons. Uh, these are rubber. Uh, they're very tactile and uh, they feel uh, very well made overall as a unit. Down here, it tells you that it will accept uh, 17 to 24 volts. So basically anything from a one cell to a six cell. Uh, generally speaking for us, we generally gonna power this with either a three cell LiPo or four cell LiPo. Uh, the leftmost uh, um, antenna slot, or sorry, input slot, is the diversity and then this one is for um, one uh, for one of the antennas and this is for the other antenna they just name it uh, antenna A and antenna B so there's the diversity receiver go ahead and open up this here are the two whip antennas that are stocking almost everything and then here's the wiring let's take a look at this So, pretty uh, standard for wiring. Uh, there's the one input going out to composite, uh, which is going to probably go into either your goggles or your uh, or a display. Uh, if you're going to go into your fat sharks, then you're going to have to buy a specific uh, input output plug that will actually go into your fat sharks because these obviously won't do it. Or you can do a composite out to your fat sharks. So that's neat. Uh, this is the uh, power plug and it goes to a JST connector. Uh, I am glad that they actually put an input on this instead of just having it uh, bare in which you have to solder on your own. But if I actually had a connector that I wanted, I would have wanted the XT60 connector because pretty much everything we do in FPV, we're going to have XT60 connectors as LiPo batteries. So I'd much prefer to have uh, an XT60 connector here, but uh, I won't complain about having just a JST one because I, generally speaking, I do have a few batteries that have JSTs con uh, connected to this and uh, in the next part, we'll go ahead and plug it up and uh, give you a look at the displays. All right, so we have everything hooked up now. We put in the uh, stock antennas. Uh, you'll probably replace them right away, but just for this demonstration, we'll just use the stock ones. We went ahead and plugged in the AV cable and uh, hooked it up to our display. And then we have the car power cable in, and then we're going to use a uh, three cell LiPo battery to power it. So when you power it up, let's see, there we go. Right away, you'll see the display. And the display is actually one of the more exciting parts about this um, uh, this video transmitter, or video receiver, sorry. Um, it gives you a lot of information that a lot of receivers doesn't. And this is the reason why I really like this receiver and why it's so useful to me. Uh, it'll give you antenna strength uh, of each uh, antenna, which is nice. It'll tell you the channel, but more importantly, it actually tells you the frequency number. And the reason why I like the frequency number is if you fly a lot with a lot of different people, especially a lot of new people, they're gonna come and they wanna fly, but they're not gonna have any understanding of frequencies and bands. So sometimes uh, when that happens, uh, you'll spend an inordinate amount of time trying to figure out which frequency, which band there is. 
if you know the frequency number and you combine it with a search feature which is uh, what's over here all of a sudden you have a unit that's really nice at trying to figure out what everybody's frequency is at and if you have a picture of what the uh, what each band and frequency and where they are actually located it makes it very easy uh, to kind of sort out who can fly and who needs to jump to a different channel so that everybody can fly this is kind of this is the feature that really makes this uh, unit uh, kind of stand out amongst uh, all of the other uh, diversity receivers uh, that's currently out there. So let's go ahead and talk about this bottom button first. So if you do a short press, what it'll do is it'll cycle through all of the channels. So I am on band F right now, and I can just, uh, with a short click, go through all of the channels, which is all eight channels. If you do a long press, and what you want to do is you just want to wait, it'll actually go to a different band. So a very long press would jump to uh, a different band. The only thing I don't like about uh, jumping to different brands is that when you press, it immediately jumps you to a different channel, and then it'll jump you to a different band. Uh, I think uh, some, some of the receivers that we have, uh, it only jumps channels after you release. This one uh, jumps you when you push in. So uh, it's not a big deal, but if you're jumping different bands, I don't think you're going to be too worried about the channel you're on. And flipping through channels on this is uh, fairly easy to do. The top button is the uh, search feature. And in order to use the first search feature, you have to push in and you hold. And then it'll go into the search feature. And what you'll see is it'll scan through all of the channels and all of the bands. And then it'll tell you which one it finds. So it didn't find anything because nothing's plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in a quad and then we're going to see if we can uh, find it on this display. So I'm going to go ahead, turn on this display. I'm going to leave this here. Got to plug in a quad. So right away, if you actually look at this right here, you'll notice that uh, it's telling you uh, signal strength that it's getting from each antenna and you can tell that we're currently not on the right one because it's picking up something but it's at a very low signal so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and push the search hold it in we'll let it search through all of the channels and we'll see what it finds So there you go, it searched through the channels. It found one where we're getting a nice uh, strength from both receivers. And we get a fairly good uh, video signal that you can see on the display over there. So um, definitely very useful to have all of these features uh, on a display. Uh, personally, really excited about it. Uh, if we go over here, this is the display that I currently use. Uh, right now I am using the immersion diversity uh, receiver so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna use both of these uh, during my times out and I just want to see overall if there's actually a, a visual difference uh, in terms of the quality of video that I'm getting back so that's what I'm gonna do next this is kind of just a short intro or introduction to uh, this particular receiver I really like it, even if I don't use it as my main uh, video receiver for uh, what I get back. I would probably still carry this around with me just for the fact that if I run across somebody that's new, um, I can quickly figure out which channel he's on and, you know, signal strength and then kind of just teach him uh, about channels and bands. Uh, really, really useful diversity receiver, especially if you're an event coordinator. So before we wrap up the video, I just want to give a uh, small comparison to their uh, original receiver that they had out and the diversity one that's out now. As you can see, there's a pretty big size difference uh, and this one has a much simpler display. Uh, in terms of uh, width, they're about the same. And then in the back, what was nice about uh, this one, uh, it's not useful to me because that's where my Velcro goes, but uh, if you actually don't put anything in the back, they do give you a uh, nice chart of all of the channels and the numbers. Uh, kind of useful, but uh, if, if it were me, I'd probably just take a picture of this on my phone and keep it with me, and then uh, I'd just uh, Velcro this on the back of whatever I'm using. So that's a quick size comparison. 
Uh, definitely, if you can, I would definitely go with the diversity receiver. There's really no reason why you wouldn't. It's a very affordable receiver and it's just a huge upgrade from uh, the original one. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave it in the comments below and until next time, thank you for watching.